The whole world was injured, so I managed to uh, get the captaincy and just the atmosphere from the very start was great for us and walking across the road with all the fans as they do every year, it's become you know, part of the, uh, the Christmas calendar for a lot of families including mine and I had six, seven people there supporting me and to start to get the way, we, you know, the game the way we did, um, to get over for the first try uh, was, was was amazing. And then just for us to continue the momentum, a lot of the stuff we didn't do last year, we sort of managed to get on for that for that one game, and just a, a great game to be involved in. I've been lucky enough to score a few tries, but that's that's definitely my favourite. I mean, the fact that it was, the pass was from Sink, who never passed the ball, which was quite nice. Now he does pass, so I'm giving him a little bit of a disservice there. But yeah, we. I saw the play was going wide and then I think Joe Marler took it in and then sort of just a little bit of space opened up. So I knew that the way Kyle is and he's going to draw in a couple of defenders. And I think, well, if I can just make a line break here or get through, then we can set up a nice another attacking position. But as it happened, as I went through, I saw Harry, Harry Mallon was sort of over chasing a little bit. Um, people have credited me with a step. I don't think it was a step, more of an avoidance swerve, um, which just worked out really nicely. He over chased, I went the other way. And then, you know, luckily the trial line was about 10 metres away and I was managed to slide in. So just, yeah, it was such a great feeling. I mean, it was one of those moments, you know, Carl's probably one of my best mates as well. For him to put me away was, was fantastic. And, uh, and to do it at the start of the game was brilliant. Everyone wants a team to do well, of course, on the pitch, but also they want to catch up with old friends. They want to see people they haven't seen for a while and they want to enjoy the Christmas spirit. And usually with the, uh, the idea that there won't be work tomorrow as well. So we can have a, a, have a few, uh, few drinks and really enjoy each other's company, which has always been a big part of it. So I'd certainly recommend to anyone who hasn't been to come down. And I'm sure big game is one of those things that I'll be going to, even if I'm not playing or involved um, for many years to come. As I said, it's, it's a permanent fixture on my, uh, my family's Christmas list now, coming up from Bristol and they absolutely love it.